In this demonstration, I'll show you how to solve a half-life problem involving exponential models. This is question one. What you'll need to be successful is knowledge of this formula, and we'll refer back to this formula as we answer the question. The question reads, if the half-life of a radioactive element is 37 years, how long would it take for 12 grams to decay given that there was initially 15 grams of this element? Let's reread this question and this time highlight some key facts. The first thing that they tell us is that it has a half-life. This will represent our B. Our B is the growth factor and when B is less than 1, this means that the initial population is decreasing. We're also told that it has a half-life of 37 years. This number right here represents our C value, which is the time it takes for the growth factor to occur. So it takes 37 years for half of that matter to disappear. How long would it take for 12 grams to decay given that there was initially 15 grams of this element? So initially, there was 15 grams. That's AL. And they're saying that 12 grams of this 15 decayed. This means that our final, which is represented by the letter big A, is 15 minus 12. So therefore, we're left with only 3 grams. So how long will it take for 15 grams to become 3? Let's plug in all this information into our formula. 3, which represents our big A, is equal to our initial 15 times 0 0.5, which represents our half-life of half, to the power of t over 37 years. Now all we have to do is isolate for this t. To do this, we're going to divide both sides by 15. So 3 over 15, and on the right side this cancels out, and we're left with 0 0.5 to the power of t over 37. The next step is to ln both sides, and if we ln both sides, we end up with ln 1 over 5, I've just reduced 3 over 15 to 1 over 5, you can leave it the way it is, is equal to ln of 0 0.5 to the power of t over 37. Now remember, the power rule of logs says that you can take this power and put it at the front. So we have t over 37, ln 0 0.5, and on the left side, ln of 1 over 5, I'm now going to divide both sides by ln 0 0.5, ln 1 over 5 divided by ln of 0 0.5, and that's equal to t over 37. And just like in one of our previous videos, at this stage you'd multiply both sides by 37. That would give you the time it takes for that matter to decay. So we have ln 1 over 5, writing this part down divided by ln of 0.5, writing this part down, is equal to that amount times 37 gives us 85.9. 85.9 is equal to t. So to conclude, we will say that it takes, therefore, 85.9 years for 12 grams to decay. And there it is. That is how to solve a half-life problem involving exponential models. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, you may visit our website at studyforce.com. We are an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.